consider this equation. x plus x raised to the negative 1 power is equal to 4. What is the value of x? Take a minute, pause the video, see if you can figure it out. So let's go ahead and talk about what we need to do here. First, we need to deal with a negative exponent, x to the minus 1. This is equal to 1 over x raised to the first power. So for instance, x to the negative third is 1 over x cubed. When you move the variable from the top to the bottom, the exponent changes sign. In this case, from negative 3 to 3. So we can rewrite the equation as x plus 1 over x is equal to 4. Now at this point, what do you recommend that we do in order to solve for x? One of the best things that we can do is get rid of the fraction. So I recommend multiplying everything by x. So we're going to have x times x plus 1 over x times x. And that's going to equal 4 times x. x times 1 over x, the x variables will cancel, giving us 1. x times x, that's going to be x squared. When you multiply by a common base, you need to add the exponents. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have x squared plus 1 is equal to 4x. Now the next thing that we need to do is move the 4x from the right side to the left side. It's positive on the right side, but when we move it to the other side, it's going to change into a negative value. So we're going to have x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So what we have here is a quadratic equation. And it doesn't look like we can factor this expression. So in order to solve it, we need to use the quadratic formula. So anytime we have a quadratic equation in this format, we could use this particular formula to solve it. In this example, a is 1, b is negative 4, c is 1. So we're going to have negative times negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 a c divided by 2a. So these two negatives will cancel, giving us positive 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. And then 2 times 1 is 2. Now 16 minus 4 is 12. So at this point, we need to simplify the square root. The square root of 12, we can write that as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3, because 4 times 3 is 12. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So now what we want to do is divide each number by 2. We want to divide 4 by 2 and 2 square root 3 by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that leaves behind the square root of 3. So we're going to get two possible answers. x can equal 2 plus the square root of 3, or x could be 2 minus the square root of 3. Now the square root of 3 as a decimal, that's 1.73205 approximately. So adding 2 to that gives us this decimal value, 3.73205. Now for the other answer, 2 minus the square root of 3, that's going to be 0 0.26795, approximately. So let's see if our answers are correct. So this is the original equation, x plus x to the minus 1 is equal to 4. So 3.73205 plus 1 over 3.73205, this should approximately be equal to 4. Go ahead and type this in 
into your calculator. On the left side, you should get 3.9999925, which is very close to 4. So these answers are correct. And you can do the same thing with the other one. You're going to get um, a very similar result. So that's how we can solve uh, this particular equation. It's by using the quadratic formula. But first, you need to put it in a format in which you could use the quadratic formula. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.